part thereof. And, and then they were able to, like, <laughs> literally do it so, yeah, a second. Yeah. And you two have brought out the new album, which we just played a second mm -hmm. ago. They there's talk about more material for another album before the end of the year. Right. Just to kind of keep the momentum yeah, going. and it's all of that period, I suppose, so they want to kind of keep it in there. Yeah. The so uh, uh, the time. are you guys going to, is that the same for Doves? This, this time, I think we'll have a heads up, because we went into this album with... Oh, all of us bringing in raggedy ass demos, you know, like scratchy bits of ideas mm -hmm. just to get the, the thing going. But there is tracks out there that we just couldn't finish. Our heads weren't right for them, but there's some good songs there. But I'm, uh, I think if we're to do anything like that, it'll be an EP. We really want it to speed up this next one, but not even this, this album tour, album tour thing. I think we really need as a band to break it up with like a, a film soundtrack or or just even I want to do a record with like a dream list of musicians and just give it away yeah you know make it in six weeks something's got to be shook up a little bit yeah I think so know, before we in, before we make our next record as a band just so we can all bring some new chops to the table again you know interesting you mentioned there in soundtracks because I definitely think you know listening to your albums uh, your previous albums and the current one they're, they're big. They're, uh, there's so many layers to your music. Yeah. And, and it's a Headphone cool, stuff. And yeah, it was great sound to it. It's a whole massive sound. It's big sound for me. And I just think Doves would, uh, would be great on movie soundtracks. We, you just touched on soundtracks. Have you ever thought about soundtracks? Well, we, we, we love it. We've just never been approached, really. You know, um, we, we'd, yeah, I mean, we've, we've always been inspired and, um, and sampled, almost, you know, loads of, like... We used to make tapes off the TV, like we just did the video play overnight, uh -huh. and any crap cop show all made for TV film. There's always something in there, a melody or something that can start something off, or, uh -huh. or you know, um, sample it and just mess with it and can turn it on its head. But we thought, yeah, we, we're really, really into that, you know. Yeah, we're, like not, we're, not, we're not like major league film buffs, but we do. Uh, like, you know, there's the only film. three in the band. And yet you've got this massive big sound. I mean, it reminds me a lot of the you know years ago in the police. There was only three in the band, yet mm. they had to work harder because there was only three. It's the case for Doves. Things change live, um, but not not dramatically. We we thought this album would be really tough to play live, but we're really enjoying it. We've got like seven new songs in the set now, mm -hmm. off the new record, and um, you know a smattering of stuff off the previous three albums. And I'm um, really enjoying playing them. You know, there's always that worry because we do a lot of the stuff for us happens in the studio, and we really love using the studio as an instrument, if you like. Yeah. Um, so there's always that thing. We, but yeah, I mean, it gets a bit more. It's like yeah, there's not many. It just we just find a way to make it work, really. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, I, I lo love your new album, by the way. And we've been playing Kingdom of Rust. In fact, we recommended it uh, a, a couple of weeks ago when we got it from EMI Records. Uh, Winter Hill, standing out for me. Right. Uh, do you have a favourite? At the moment, I really... I'm just playing them live, I'm really liking The Greatest Denier. Yeah. And um, Compulsion, we've just put that in the set with jazz singing. And that's, you know, for us, a bit sort of... It's got sort of like 1978 sort of New York trash punk funk sort of thing to it, and that's yeah, really enjoying playing it live. Um, what's the, there's like a couple of albums you've had uh, like with well particular songs you've uh, it's you, kind of the countryside that you grew up in always features in your albums, doesn't it? Well, like Winter Hill. This one's more pastoral. Black there's a lot and white more town. country stuff has crept in. A lot more nature mm -hmm. has crept in somehow. Locale. Yeah, we, we've always nodded it. But there's always been a lot of travel in Doves records. It's almost like a ma travel in your head or tra escape-ism, but like, you know, just trying to get to a better place. There's always been that wistful thing mm -hmm. going on. Tell me this, the interesting thing. Uh, most albums that we get, I mean, we just played the U2 album. The boys are on the back of the cover of the album there. You never, you, there's no pictures of Doves, of the three of you, on any of your album sleeves? On the inside there is. I know, is. but never out on the front. Nah. Why is that? I don't know. We just don't really <laughs> bother. Yeah, um, that probably has a lot more to do with our, our friend Rick Myers, who's always done our sleeves. Um, Rick now lives in America, so we were liaising back and forth via email, you know, yeah. which you can do these days. And So, um, but it's probably down to him. I'm not putting their mugs on, the, on, the, right. on my cover. Because <laughs> he's, he's, honestly, he's like, you know, typical artist. That's my sleeve. It's not theirs. Yeah. He belongs to me now. Right. You know. <laughs> so, um, uh, but yeah, it's like videos. You know, we, we, we'll be in our videos if we think it's necessary to the script and treatment. Yeah. But we're happy. We, you know, we came up with like bands like New Order and like you mm. talked about Mystery. Joy Division and those guys. The mystery yeah. behind, mm. 
you know, and a factory, it was all about creating art, if you like, or, and we, I'm not saying... Well, we, music was the most important yeah, thing here. Yeah, so we, we really we, um, were inspired by all that, and maybe you don't have to always know the people behind it. And mm -hmm. um, what can the fans expect tonight? At the gig of the Olympia, oh, so well, be we, smell I, of the grease paint, to be, be roaring think, and screaming and all sorts of stuff. We're playing really, we're playing really well right now. I think it's because it's kind of new to us after being three years in the studio. We really were chomping at the bit to play yeah. live, and so this is only our, our fifth date on the tour. We played six small de smaller dates last month, yeah, for the first time really in in four years. So. Well, I'm looking we're, forward we're to going down and uh, enjoying the gig tonight. I really am. Great. And if you're heading to the gig tonight, the Olympia, you're on stage probably about nine o'clock, isn't it? Quarter past nine. Quarter past yeah, nine. And we've got um, a Dublin band. I think they're from Dublin Brothers Movement supporting mm -hmm. us. Very they're good. They're really good. Really good band. Excellent. Well, listen, uh, Jimmy, thanks for popping in to say hello to us. Uh, it's great to be here. And uh, we've got uh, the lovely Jill, who's working with us, is on camera uh, duty today, actually. <laughs> I know Jill, yeah. <laughs> You know Jill for a long time, because Jill used to work with EMI. Jill used to work, yeah, for and, EMI. And uh, she used to come in and go, you've got to listen to this band, Tony, they're great. And I play your song, so that's, there's a connection. And now you, you come in to, for the interview, and she's, and she's actually here. she's I working for Today FM now. I knew she'd left EMI, but I didn't know you were here. Uh... Still plugging, Jill. <laughs> uh, Jimmy, thanks for popping in the Thanks ever so And much. Uh, thanks, Jill, on camera as well. And uh, you can watch this interview. We'll pack it up on our website pretty soon to watch as well. Uh, the Dubs, here's the current single, Kingdom of Rust.